Hello everyone, welcome to the shed. I'm Cliff, as some of you may know. A couple of minor irritations to report. I've uh, been doing a bit on the uh, buggy uh, and I've got to, wanting to make the fork for the front wheel and I had this metal to use for it and for some reason, well, because I haven't done one, a 90 degree bend, I thought I'd do a 90 degree bend on it. Unfortunately that resulted in the metal snapping. I've messed about and done some other bends on it since but it means I haven't got a length long enough now to do the um, fork so I've got to wait for some metal to turn up. So then, <coughs> excuse me, so then I thought I'd, while I've got a bit of time on my hands, I'd make some jaw extensions for my new bandsaw. Uh, same up as uh, most people who've got a bandsaw will do because the jaws are never quite wide enough to get anything short. If you're trying to grip something in the jaw this way, it, it don't get quite enough up to the blade so you're restricted to how long you can hold when you're trying to cut. It's no, no problem cutting a little sliver off or saying it's how big this bit is. But anyway, on this bandsaw, compared to my other one, because this has got like a separate vice on it, on the old bandsaw, this bed here was the bed that the the jaws of the vice was on. So that was bolted onto there, and the actual vice jaw was part of the base. But with this one, because you've got this extra bit which swivels, so that you do an angle cut on this one, the whole bandsaw swivels rather than the vice. You've got this extra height, so you've got an you've got a hole. You've actually got a proper vice on this one. And this back jaw is just held on with three bolts. On the back. And then the moving jaw is just held on with two bolts onto this, which obviously moves with the handle. So, I decided I would do that and started filming it. Unfortunately, I discovered the battery had run out on my microphone so there'd be some bits of pictures and that of where I got to anyway before my card started running started running out and I went down to uh, put it on the computer and clear it this is where I've got to I've just cut a couple of bits of oh, I can't even remember how big it is it's just stuff I've got laying about yeah, it's just a bit of 10 mil by two and a half bar couple of bits of that to fit the jaws I just drilled a couple of holes in the front and back jaw and just filed them up just to give a bit of adjustment
reason I did them on the drill press and just drilled them and filed them is which is much quicker than trying to get it set up on the uh, mill and then just drilled and tapped an 8mm hole for a bolt to bolt them on and this one's the back jaw has also got a 6mm hole this is the uh, the one I made for my other bandsaw and that just goes through there to take up the slack when you're tightening the jaw to stop the jaw twisting so I just need to bolt this one on here now stick it back on the uh, saw and give it a go I'm just going to get this length stop out of the way Something else I'm going to do is change this to uh, put a little thumb screw in here because it's bloody nuisance. Keep having to find a uh, Allen key when you want to adjust the length, the depth, the length stop. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. There you go. How bad's that for a quick fix? I've got these little square-headed M8 bolts. And that's enough to nip it up and move it better than that allen bolt that allen yeah that allen bolt right let's get these other these jaws back on here And that was gonna get in that bolt was gonna get in the way of this bolt for a minute. your angle and there you go that was just being held on this little edge here works perfect bloody compressor well I'm afraid that's all I've got for this one until the metal turns up I can't do no more to the uh, well I could do some more but I'm not going to so until the metal turns up and make the forks and get on with that, I can't do much more. But I'll see you in the next one when hopefully I'll be doing them. Bye for now. Take care.